Hello everyone, it is I, Mark SW. It is August 2020 and it is very hot. I was supposed to be going to a convention, a robot combat event. As you know, I'm into robot fighting like Robot Wars and BattleBots. Uh, it was called RoboNerd, but unfortunately, due to one or two complications, all conventions and events in the United Kingdom have been banned by the government. This also includes special holidays like Easter, Christmas, and my personal favourite, Halloween. But fear not, I'm still going to do a Robot Combat related video. When I first started YouTube, one of my early videos was a sideshow of a collection of Robot Wars contestants. This included the pullback toys, some robots I made out of Lego, and robots I've made out of cardboard. And a lot of people were impressed with my cardboard makes, and they asked, please show us how you make them. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a simple and easy robot. I thought I'd go for Nuts 2. So first things first, you need some cardboard. So I'm using an old cereal box. And you need to make the shape of the main body of your robot. So with Nuts 2, it's a very simple shape, a cuboid. But once you're happy with your measurements, you can go over the folding lines with a compass. This makes it easier to fold and of course when you're doing this don't forget to add in the little flaps so you can glue them together and if you're going to build a robot that is a little bit more complex than a cube then careful measurements is required especially if you're doing things like angles and curves once you've added in the grooves the fold lines whatever you like you can cut out the robot if it's a small robot then try and save as much cardboard as possible you might need it to improve your robot or if you want to build another one. Once you've cut it out, you bend it to make sure the fold lines are okay. And then you can glue it together. A good old fashioned PVA glue should do the job. And then just put it to one side to let it dry. While it's drying, we'll move on to the weapon for Nuts 2 which is the flail. Now for the frame, I've used thick cardboard. I think it's called coronated cardboard. I've made three octagonal shapes and made them hollow. Uh, you noticed one of them I've chopped in half because that's where we're gonna put the flail. Now to create the weapon, what I've done is I've taken one of these Lego chains, then I've split it in half so it's nice and even. And then with some thin card, I've cut out these sort of arrow shapes to act as the weights and the weapons. What I've done is I've made a small hole, made a little cut at the bottom, so it's easy to attach the chain to the arrows. So now to put it together, I'll just glue the half frames on top of one frame. And because the chains are plastic, normal PVA glue might not be enough, so I'm gonna use super glue. Ideal if you're going to use things like plastic. But be extremely careful, super glue is very sticky. And then just add a bit more super glue and PVA glue on the top and add in the second full frame. Now here's a little tip if you're using coronated cardboard. If you want to hide the inside, you know those sort of lumps and bumps, take a thin piece of paper and just glue it on so it covers it up. I confess it's very fiddly and difficult to do, but when you have more time, you can make it look more neat and tidy. And again, leave that to dry. So moving on to the wheels of nuts, very simple. I just made three circles, a small thin one and two corrugated cardboards, and I've glued them all together. And again, with the frame, I've got a thin piece of paper and I've used that to cover up the coronated cardboard's interior, so to speak. So now that all the pieces are dry, I can put them all together. So starting with the wheels, I've marked out where I want to put them on the main body of Nuts 2. Uh, this is an option though, you can add maybe a tube or a toothpick through the main body so you can make the wheels turn. But for now, I'm just going to make them static because this is just a rough demonstration. It's not meant to be perfect. It's just to give you an example on how to build a robot. Now with the frame, it goes over the main body, but the hole might be too big, so it will just fall through. But don't worry, I have a solution to this. I have four bits of card. I've added some fold lines to them, and I'm going to attach them to the top and bottom of the frame. 
so now it should be close enough to reach the main body so as you can see it slides perfectly into position so I'll just glue that together it's really starting to look like nuts too but it could do with a coat of paint now when I paint my models I tend to spray it with an undercoat and then add the paint on so I'm going to give it a white undercoat because Nuts is mainly white, and once it's dried I'll add the rest of the paint on by hand. So I've got red for the frame, and a bit of the main body. And then there's green and black for the wheels, and I might paint the chain silver. One other thing about Nuts, it has those angry eyes on the top. So with a toothpick and some black paint, I can just draw them on. And ta-da! Here is Nuts 2. I'll do a close-up. There we go. So as you can see, it definitely looks like Nuts, especially with the, the chains and the weights, that frame. But that's a simple DIY guide on how to build a robot from Robot Wars or BattleBots out of cardboard. And here are some other models I've made with some different weapons and different shape designs. So here's everyone's favourite, Deator. It's just painted red with lots of black dots everywhere and I've got some googly eyes. Its weapon, the lifting scoop, is just a simple piece of card. And here's Cat 3. Like Deator, good sportsmanship this robot. Its weapon is the axe, which is made out of plastic uh, from old model kits and the frames that hold the models. This robot, this is Spanners, uh, based on a robot called Spanners from the Robot Wars Extreme Destruction video game. This has a spinning disc on the front, which is made out of cardboard, but it, it turns, as you can see. But here's a couple of my favourites. Here's Ripper, has a big lifting scoop, made out of cardboard and plastic, even got some see-through plastic. And one of my personal favourite robots, Mortis. One of the best tracked robots. Again, the weapons are plastic. I've got the axe and the lifting arm. And here's a little tip. Mortis is a tracked robot. So if you're going to build a robot that has tracks, get a small bit of thin card and just add some grooves and fold lines to it. So it gives the impression that it looks like caterpillar tracks. Or if you want, you can just build a simple robot with no moving parts. So Storm 2, the current Robot Wars world champion. It's all cardboard, there's nothing on it that moves. I would have done its lifting arm, but it's a little bit of a difficult design, I must confess. But if you can find a way to do its lifting arm, that would be good. I know there are other YouTubers who've made cardboard robots. Um, Vote Saxon 07 for a start, big Robot Wars fan he is. And I think Orange Joe's Overjuice has done it. I know some people have also taken the Hexbug remote control robots from BattleBots and Robot Wars and customised them to look like other robots. I would like to do that one day. I mean, if Hexbug made saw blades, I think that's what it's called, uh, one of the robots from BattleBots, I could customise it to make it look like dead metal. Uh, so far they haven't done it yet, but there is something I could do, which is the next best thing. If I can get another blacksmith robot, I could customise it to look like Battle Axe, which is one of the house robots from the Robots Live events. So, it's not dead metal, but it's better than nothing. And it would be good, because Hexbug only made one house robot from Robot Wars. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this DIY guide to building a cardboard robot. If you have enjoyed this DIY video, do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can see all my other videos. Other robot combat videos I've done, I've done the Hexbug Pinball and Sumo Tournaments, uh, my own Sergeant Bash house robot intro, and uh, some live events I've attended. Thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.